and that was that for, uh, from digitaltrends.com I'm going to post the links in the description so you guys can uh, read it for yourselves or dissect it if you will but yeah man I think uh, I think it's time for like every company to start doing it you know if put in Russia don't want to act right in you know cut them off I'm not going to pretend like I know what's going on you know like because like everywhere I turn you just ban this you know news from uh, Russia and Ukraine everywhere I go to you know I've just been seeing the Russia and Ukraine Russia and Ukraine it's like it's taking up my whole feed and yeah it's just uh I'm not gonna pretend like I'm just gonna like hey uh so and so and so and so and so because I don't really know what's actually going down because I'm getting tired of it like like first it's the invasion and, and then it was uh Ukraine li- leaving behind black people and then you know um things with the prime minister and and what not and more killings and stuff like that just exhausting just really exhausting I'm sick on report it cause you know I'm doing it for you guys I'm pretty sure there are some people that feel the way I feel and I will say that it is our business whether we are involved in this and, or not cause it does affect us as a whole a lot of people have been saying oh we should mind our own business um if we choose not to not to do anything about it or just mind our own business then it's gonna affect us still I don't know how but it always comes down to America in the end and it's gonna like Do a whole world war again. It's gonna be World War Three, and that's all I'm willing to say right there at this point. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing it live. No, but um, yeah, man, just uh, just two years ago, we was in a pandemic, you know. Everyone was like going crazy over COVID and, you know, 2021 hits, you know, and there's still like more COVID coverage. And now we're in 2022, you're on the brink of a rare war, a third one at that. It's crazy, man. Like, uh, like, shit. I think the current president of the United States said, you know, that dude's getting tired too, man. But I don't know how long he's gonna last. You know, like, oh, this old dude, like in his 80s? Oh, it was President Biden, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check and see. How, how old is President Joe Biden. Seventy nine years old. Seventy nine years old. Like I wish him was you know like a a lengthy a lengthy uh life. And I wish him great health too. But come on man. That man don't need to be doing anything. He needs to sit his behind down and just enjoy retirement. But he signed up for four years. and Here it is, man. Here it is. Here's your four years. He just started, too. Fuck, he just started. He don't need to be under any more stress. He needs to sit his butt down. I know. 
he just did a stay of the union, you know, uh, speech too. And yeah, uh, just uh, man. Hmm. What are you guys doing today, man? Let me know in the description. I'm on YouTube as well. I'm thinking about doing, you know, like videos. You know, like live videos for that. Just so you guys can look at my face. Also, I'm thinking about, think, thinking about cutting off my hair too. Just, uh, spring is approaching. Sometimes the spring get hot. Then there's the summer. And just... Sometimes it gets too hot. Joe likes to get all stinky and shit. No matter how much you spray with that good kind of spray. And it feels like you have to like wash your hair like almost every week. Because of uh, the heat. Then the thickness of my hair. And yes. Yeah, it can be too much. But while I'm going on and on and on about nothing. Uh, you guys have a wonderful ring bless it day you know also remember to take care of each other but most importantly take care of yourselves your physical health your mental health every day I'm your host Casey Genesis I'm out